Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Mirror 2, a software from iMyPhone, which lets you mirror your phone, whether it's an Android or an iOS, to any computer running Windows or Mac OS. Let's find out more. And thanks to iMyPhone for sponsoring this video. So as I said, the software is very simple. You don't need to install anything on your phone, but rather on your computer, whether it's a Mac or Windows. And as soon as you install the client software on your computer, you can easily mirror your phone to your computer, either via a wired USB cable or even wirelessly. Now, it doesn't stop at mirroring. If you're mirroring an iPhone, you can, of course, in addition to mirroring your screen, use your mouse on your computer to control the iPhone itself. If you're mirroring an Android, however, it goes a step further and you can, in addition to using your mouse, use your keyboard as well and map certain keys from the phone on the keyboard, which comes in handy if you're a fan of mobile games, for example, because this lets you customize in-game actions by mapping these keys to your keyboard. Let's take the example of the famous PUBG game, for example. If you connect your Android phone to your PC, start mirroring your screen, but also activate keyboard mapping. And then in the settings, you can customize the keys. And there are a few default options over there or profiles like PUBG. So if you select PUBG, then all the in-game actions would automatically be mapped to your keyboard. And as you can see, you can start using your keyboard and your mouse to play PUBG. You can even customize these keys if you wanted to, but again, there's a default profile, so uh, if you want to use the default keys, there's nothing you need to do other than select PUBG and activate keyboard mapping. This, of course, makes playing mobile games an infinitely better experience, because not only are you playing on a much larger screen than that of your phone, but also using a keyboard and mouse as input devices, at least in shooter games, for example, uh, is much easier and a much better experience than using the touch controls on the phone itself. Now, while mirroring, you can take snapshots, but you can also record videos. So if you'd like to record a video of you playing, you can do that and it saves the video locally on your computer. But not only that, you can also stream directly from Mirror 2, either to YouTube directly or to conference tools like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So if you are a mobile gamer and you're into streaming, this could be for you. But there's also other use cases in addition to mobile gaming. Let's say you are in a virtual meeting on Microsoft Teams and you want to share content for your phone, be it pictures or otherwise, you can easily do that. You can share your screen or you can stream directly to Microsoft Teams. But let's say you have an iPad, for example, and an Apple Pencil. Mirroring your iPad is super easy. Just swipe down from the iPad, select mirroring and select your computer from the list there. And that's all it takes. Your iPad is then mirrored and you can even go full screen. And then whatever you're doing on your iPad, in this case, if you're drawing, sketching, jotting down or simply writing with the Apple Pencil, this is going to be mirrored on your computer. You can share your screen or you can activate streaming. What that does, it creates a virtual camera, which then if you go to MS Teams or any of the other web conference softwares, you can select that camera and then whatever you're mirroring is instantly shared to anyone in that meeting. Now that's a nice feature. You can also annotate on the screen as you can see. And in case you want to mirror more than one device or phone, you can have multiple instances of different phones that are all being mirrored at the same time. As I said, Mirror 2 works on both Mac and Windows and on Android and iOS. I'll put links in the description to the product page. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.